So in lacrosse, there's a few ways to scoop the lacrosse ball. So the first way I'm going to teach you is when the ball stands still, you're just going to go right under a couple inches away from the ball and just go under and pick it up. So sometimes if you go at an angle like this, you're going to get stuck. So you want to keep it kind of like at a degree like this, where it's almost flat to the ground and just go forward and scoop it up, okay? So we're going to learn that one first. So Marcella, go ahead and try. Nice. Oh. Put it down. And then one more time. Nicely done. Okay. Kristen, your turn. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's put it back down. Just nice and easy. And then try one more time. Nice. Alright, go ahead and put it down. Right, so the next time on this one, we're going to learn how to bring it back to us. Because sometimes it's really tough to get to, especially if someone else is trying to get it. So an easier way is put the lacrosse stick where the head is kind of halfway from the ball. Push it back to us and have it roll into our stick. So it's nice and easy, so it's rolling to us, and we just catch it. Mar, go ahead and try. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Try one more time. Nice. All right, Kristen. Halfway. Nice. One more time. Oh. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Let's try it again. All right, hold on. So when you stand, uh, try not to bend so much, just stand nice and firm, and then put the lacrosse stick right here in the middle, bring it back, and scoop it up. All right. So on our next one, we don't always get to get the ball right there with no one coming in, standing still. So on this one, we're going to run and scoop it up. So we're going to do a nice light jog. When you're coming in, you want to have your lacrosse stick nice and low to the ground so it's already ready to go and still have it at an angle to where it doesn't go straight to the ground or you're going to get stuck. You just want to have a nice even flow and just go along with the grass. So you don't want it too low, otherwise it's going to get stuck. If you have it too high, it's just going to go over the ball. So have it nice and low to the ground, go right under the grass and scoop it up. So when you're coming straight towards the ball, instead of running really hard, kind of stutter step a couple times so it's easier to get it so you can keep your ground. Go ahead. Ah! Okay, keep your eye on the ball. Okay. Keep it nice and focused and don't take your eye out. Try it one more time. Nice. Alright, go ahead and put it down. Kristen, go ahead and try. Nice. Alright, go ahead and put it down. Marlon's do it again. Try to do it just one hand, it's one going hand? to be easier for balance and to maintain it a little better. Try one more time. Okay, instead of having it straight, do that angle. You'll be fine. One more time. Nice. Alright, Kristen, try it one more time. It's okay, keep your head on the ball. Keep your, make sure it's nice and level on the grass and not over. There you go. All right. So for our game, what we're going to do is, Kristen, you're going to use this stick and pick up this ball. Mar, you're going to get that ball over there. Just want to make sure we're going to be in the level. So, Mar, go ahead and put the ball over here. All right, so I want you girls to back up about 10 steps. And then what we're going to do is, Kristen, you're going to go for this ball, Mar, you're going to go for this ball. So sometimes, when you're, you're going to start running to get it, but if you miss it, just try to scoop it like I taught you, either by coming back with the uh, stick, or just standing up and doing it. So the first one to pick it up wins. Okay? And we're going to do best out of seven. Seven! Yes. <laughs> So, Wait, okay, so when sure we, we pick it up, do we run back up, here? When you pick it up, no. When you oh. pick it up, you win. So first one to pick it up wins. 
I want to make sure you guys get a routine out of it. So you can do different ways. You can run and stop and try to get it, whatever your way, whatever you think is the best way for you to get it. So think of strategies to beat the other opponent. First one to four, win. Okay, let me just make sure. Okay. Ready, set, go. Kristen, ah. nicely done. All right, so you want to have agility and speed. All right, so on this one, we're going to stand still first. So okay. we're not running. You're coming over here. So think of the best way. You can scoop it up like this. You can bring it back, whatever the best way is. All right, ready, set, go. Mar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go again. So whichever way, actually, you guys both try. Right? So this oh, one, yeah. we're gonna come back. Come still. Now you're gonna try the way that you haven't tried yet. Okay. All right, yeah. ready, set, go. Kristen. Oh, but I okay. cut it. And you did, but Kristen got first. Okay, so right now it's two to one, Mar. Okay. So you guys thought of different ways that you like. So now we're gonna do. Starting from the back and just whatever way is the easiest. All right, ready, set, go. Kristen got it. Mara, <laughs> quicker. All right, so Kristen just needs one more. Oh man. All right, ready, set, go. Mar got it this oh, time. Oh no! Wait, he told me to go quicker, and I did. Three to two. <laughs> All right, so now you gotta have the speed and the balance in order to get it the quickest. Ready, set, go. No! Oh, oh Mark got it. <laughs> you, you can have the speed, but you gotta make sure you keep your eye on the ball, otherwise you're gonna mess up. Last it's one. Tied. Oh, it man. is tied. Make sure you have the speed and the balance, and you gotta keep focus. All right. This is for it. This is for the win. Ready, set, go. Kristen got it! Uh, <laughs> Alright, that's it. Yeah. Thank you, girl. Thank you, sir.